Okay. <coughs> uh, let's start on this session uh, about space, space governance. Uh, on the, it's part of the technology agenda, the World Policy Conference. Uh, we started, if you remember, 2016. It was uh, around the uh, geopolitical impact of data. Since then, the technology agenda has uh, developed further in at IFRI with the creation of a dedicated program with uh, Thomas Gomar and Alice Panier. And then during this 15th edition, you saw yesterday technology around circular economy. Uh, you will hear about technology in energy, technology in healthcare tomorrow, and today's <coughs> space. So when I discuss with uh, Thierry about the, what would be a good topic, we very rapidly zoom in on, uh, on space. Uh, you've seen, unfortunately, uh, this year, the impact, the importance of space technology uh, during the Ukraine conflict. It has been visible to all of us, uh, certainly not the application we would like to see, but at least <coughs> it has made it visible. And uh, in, in fact, uh, space is going through a profound transformation. Uh, the one we've not seen uh, since the inception of uh, space, and it is driven by technology. As always, in technology, it's about cost. So the te new technologies, be it uh, um, uh, electronic, uh, be it uh, materials, be it uh, information technology, have allowed to Catholic. reduce the weight, which is very important in space, and thus democratize uh, the application of space. And now you speak of uh, microsatellite. Mm. They are about uh, well, the size between <laughs> the two of us, yes. this thick, and you send 5,000 microsatellites uh, per year, while we used <coughs> to send five big, like this, satellites uh, in the space per year. So it's a big transformation, big change. As such, it allows uh, this reduction in cost and uh, the multiplicity of the capacity that is sent not only in space but uh, then consequently uh, on the operation on, on the ground allow for the creation of new applications. One uh, is clearly, as I, I mentioned before, the other one is exploitation of uh, images, space images. So you've seen uh, <coughs> how uh, uh, optic <coughs> has improved uh, and uh, uh, the, the, that allows you to, to, to a level of granularity that opens new markets, new opportunities in space. It's just one example, you will hear uh, more. Now, uh, from a business standpoint, that's where I come from, if you look what space means today, and I, I refer, you can find the reference, it's a McKinsey report on space of uh, August 2022, uh, quite a, a, a good one, I recommend to read, uh, stating that this is today a one trillion so, uh, uh, market. The expected uh, annual uh, corrected annual growth rate is about uh, 15% until 2030. Believe it or not, it still remains a respectable number. And there are uh, 1,400 companies globally uh, uh, active in that market, uh, with a lot of new entrants, uh, thanks to the possibilities that I mentioned uh, before. And these new entrants, what do they do? They continue to work on cost reduction. Again, that's what drives the adoptions of technologies and, and open new, new fields. Uh, it allows uh, the development of new business model. You will hear some examples uh, on our panel today. And what we will see most probably is everything in infrastructure uh, will go towards software defined, meaning you have a satellite is a piece of hardware and you will equip it with the necessary capacity so that you can manage it from your software and then uh, that allows you to extract more value and have more flexibilities and further uh, reduce the cost uh, of your operation. So that's, that's the context. Now, there is obviously space started with the public sector, so there is obviously uh, a geopolitical aspect to it. Uh, every country is, uh, equip are equipping themselves with space command, uh, France uh, uh, recently uh, as well, so every, uh, everybody does it. So there is, and we see it, and we will address it partially on this panel. Uh, but then you have uh, civil operators uh, coming in, creating uh, 
creating a, a, a governance uh, question that we will address on this panel. And uh, to the point now that uh, you have so much waste that you need to address waste in space. So because we send so many things, so that's a uh, uh, consequence. So it, it shows the evolution of that uh, of that uh, industry and the importance, the relevance for the World Policy Conference. So, uh, in order to address this uh, theme uh, today, I, I think uh, we have a fantastic uh, panel, and uh, we will start uh, by an introduction of Amer Al Ghafri on, on my left. He is senior director of the Space Engineering Department at the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center in Dubai. As the host, he will tell us the position of the UAE uh, in space, the evolution, which is quite radical uh, for, for uh, the Emirati uh, in it. Then we will address uh, the governance question, starting with Professor Kazuto Suzuki, uh, Professor of Science and Technology Policy at the Graduate School of Public Policy at the University of Tokyo, Japan, and Senior Fellow of Asia Pacific Initiative. Then his uh, context setting will be complemented by uh, Professor Daniel Handler, who is a Professor Emeritus at Sorbonne University and member of the Académie des Sciences Morales et Politiques, who will complement the governance part with more, as we know, Daniel, uh, the ethics perspective, because uh, it's a technology space, and when there is technology, you always have ethical questions. So that will be the context setting, the governance part, linked directly to the agenda of the World Policy Conference. Then we will move in a second section or third section in defense and cybersecurity. Uh, obviously, defense, uh, it will be our friend, Mayor Chetrit, uh, a former member of the Israeli Knesset, well known in the World Policy Conference, who has had numerous ministry positions in Israel, and he will address uh, the element of, uh, of uh, defense. Complemented by Patrick Trinclair, founder and CEO of uh, SISEC, which is a cybersecurity company in, active in confidential computing, and in full disclosure in the World Policy Conference, uh, Carista uh, uh, Venture Fund uh, linked to the CNES, a sponsor of the World Policy Conference, is an <coughs> investor and a board member in SISEC and personally as well. So I, am, so I want this to be very clear in full disclosure uh, as it is a rule. Uh, then we will move to the civil application. The civil application will be addressed by uh, jo Geoffrey Boucault. Uh, CTO and Group Vice President, Corporate Strategy and External Relations at Valeo, uh, a very large, well-known French company working with uh, automobile OEM. And then uh, François Barrault will conclude the panel, uh, the intervention of the panel and the civil application is a uh, is the chairman of DG World, a uh, leading European think tank in digital transformation, also a well-known friend of the World Policy Conference. 